Some traditional rulers of mining host communities have called for the intervention of the federal government in curbing the negative impact of illegal mining activities in their communities. The leaders make this known during a two-day round table focused on giving power to the people by reducing Nigeria's energy deficit through equity and inclusion. Participants at the event say they neglect these communities face after exploration means the country has been unable to fully leverage on the potentials of its numerous mineral deposits. It's very unfortunate that in your own community that you are very close out to your people that whatever happens to your community is directly at your palace. For instance, uh, we, there was a re reported case of two children that were drawn in a pit. The first thing they came, the, my community did was they marched to the palace and they put all the blames on the, on the uh, traditional ruler of that community. So how can you disengage such uh, traditional leader from whatever policy that is being made by the people? So I think that um, the, whatever happens to the people, is, is directly at the traditional ruler. So people should come together, should, people should be carried along when they want to make any policy that will affect the life of people. The government should carry the traditional leader in that community along because it is the traditional leader that has known all the crown and crewness of his community and is the one that is directly involved with the people. So when these traditional leaders are being carried along, you will see that whatever that will be of help uh, that will be of importance to the community is going to bring it to the table for the government to dialogue together. We should shun avarice, the avaricious pursuit of wealth, where some one man wants to make hundred billion dollars and the next man or the next woman goes hungry is the bane of the problem. The problem is you and I. There's nobody else. And then you had by extension the colonial masters or the West who by all means necessary want a natural, a, a natural resources. They live on it, they lean on it, they survive on it. They, it's got into a stage that they've actually perfected the art of raping our economies and stealing our resources to an extent that they're willing to throw spanners in the works. And any African political leader that's not ready to dance to their tune might end up being chased away. We have been writing to, uh, last two years, we wrote to the Senate in Abuja here, asking them to take justice. But when they invited us for first hearing, Royal Salt ignored it. They turned down the invitation. They didn't come. Second one, even the third one. What the Indian man used to say, and the director of Royal Salt, Mr. Obi Alu, he said that the federal government is inside their pockets. That it's just a peanut they will give them and everybody will be quiet. If there is a country, they should stand for the citizen of this country, not protecting the interest of, uh, what do they call, expatriates. They give them security. Nigeria soldiers are guiding them. Nigeria civil defense are guiding them. Nigeria police are guiding them. But we citizens, nobody cares about. Even the Mr. President don't even know that we exist. What they're interested in is the royalty they collect from these miners. If we a country that will have a president, how can somebody come from India and deprive me of my right and destroy my community and my praise. I'm dressing it to the Mr. President of this country because the minister will tell you that he don't, there is nothing he can do. Where is the president who voted for? Can't he fight for the right of the citizen of this country? You might think that what you are going to get on that ground is gold. Eventually, when you dip beyond the level, you might get diamond. And there are laws, there are regulations and laws that make, I mean, that uh, specify what to do in that kind of circumstance. Take for example, let me, let me give you an example in my own site. We started mining gemstones, uh, but recently we, as a time we are dumping lithium. We are dumping, spodumen, we are dumping as waste products. But when the market and the demands came, you have to go and excavate. What the law says is that if you have applied for lithium and eventually you are getting good, you have to declare. And there are processes. You declare to the government, 
because you cannot just be sending those out without being appropriate realizing on them. So there are there are rules and regulations guiding all these issues.